Hello and welcome to the KartingOne.co.uk KZ2 track test. So then, is KZ the saviour of world karting? We proclaimed this on the website a few weeks back, so we thought we'd better get one on track, get some footage, and let you guys know what they're all about, what they like to drive, and what they like to run. So we teamed up with the guys over at RNS Motorsport, who are the techno kart importers for the UK. It's a father and son outfit, it's Brian and Jamie Rush. They gave us a techno kart chassis and a TM KZ10 for the day, and this is what we thought about the whole experience. So, firstly, word of warning. If you're a little bit inexperienced, you haven't been in a kart for a while, and you go out in a KZ and you've got cold tyres, uh, make sure you're in the right gear and don't get caught out with the uh, power band spinning around like that and making you look like an idiot in front of everyone. Um, a KZ is not something to be played around with. These things will bite you and they will bite you hard if you make a big mistake. I got caught out here going through the uh, right hander at Shennington called Hanger Corner and it's a vicious corner. Um, uh, I, I thought at this point, I'm hitting 70 mile an hour, I turn into the corner, back end goes out and I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go in backwards into the tyres and I'm going home in an ambulance if, if I'm lucky. <laughs> I got away with it and uh, luckily I could carry on karting throughout the day to experience uh, KZ. Um, when you drive a KZ for the first time, you just, it's, if you select the right gear for the corner, little tight corner, and you accelerate away, it's just a fabulous feeling. You don't really get that in modern carts nowadays. So many of these engine characteristics are designed for sort of mid-range power and it's just great to have a car that just bolts out of a corner. Because you've got this gearbox, you can go into the lower gear, use the power all the time, it's fabulous. Here, you slam down the gears, you go into second gear and I apply the throttle and you can just feel the car going, yes, it's coming out of the corner and that's what you want. And then you, you, you go through the gears and accelerate and, and, it's, and then you hit the brakes, <laughs> you join and go down the gears and the car's fighting against you you know it's like a wild horse Brian who was running the cart with me he said how oh, when you drive one of these things it's like taming a wild horse and he's pretty much right you've just got to knuckle down concentrate and these things require 100% concentration you know and that's what's so great about them you know you have to be fully attentive there's no room for error and it's why they're hugely popular with Formula 1 drivers because like Formula 1 you've got to be on it all the time and um, if you watch here again you know, you're accelerating around this corner, your body's being chucked, you're hitting the brakes, down four gears, you're trying to load the car up, you know, am I going to make it? And then out of the corner and it's just power all the way. It's great feeling. Um, that's what they like to drive, they're brilliant. Um, if you ever get a chance to drive one, you have to take it. Um, it's a completely unique experience. But there's something else about KZ um, that has changed in recent years, which has changed its image. Um, as you can see here, we're going to go on board with Jamie Rush, because Jamie raced KF last year with his dad, Brian, and KF is a tough class. There's a massive amount of complexity in the engines, and for a father and son outfit, it's very difficult to get involved with how it all sort of works. You know, you've got so much to work with. With a KZ, they're relatively simple. Yes, they have six gears. Um, yes, they have a water pump. But other than that, these things are less complex than the KF. You wouldn't have thought this uh, 20 years ago. Gearboxes were supposed to be the realm for the weird guys that were a bit, you know, odd and they did these carts and they were a bit mental. Suddenly, KZ has changed. It's become the class of choice for the top guys. Of course, you know, they'll obviously be still racing Super KF. That's where the manufacturers, they need to keep in the direct drive market. But the market's changing now, and especially in the UK, you can look at KZ now and think, yeah, that's a class I can do. And it's just a great opportunity for karting to retrieve some of its purity that's lost in recent years. Um, and it's bringing a bit of a sparkle to the racetrack now, and it's going to continue to grow, I think, throughout the next few years if karting maintains its stability. Um, we'd like to end this by saying thanks to RNS Motorsport who supply the car. It's a great car. Um, the website is technocart.co.uk so make sure you check that out. And we wish Brian and Jamie the best of luck this year racing KZ. This has been a kartin1.co.uk track test report.